This is one of the best situations that easily catch a lot of redfish. Full moons and big tides usually have fish fired up. During these times, I target oyster bars at high tide and deep pockets on the edge of grass flats at low tide, throwing both cut bait and top waters. But step number one to a successful trip is catching bait. All right, let's see if we can get some pinfish to use as cut bait later today. So it's in the morning, it's about eight o'clock in the morning. I tried throwing top waters for a little bit this morning and had a couple blowouts, but didn't connect on anything. See if I can get some pinfish for a nice little low tide evening bite. So I got a sabiki, put a couple pieces of shrimp that I had on there, and we're on a grass flat about four feet of water, just tossing it out there and wait for it to hit the bottom. It's already getting hit. And oh, missed them. Get it back out there. It's really simple getting bait this way. You don't have to load up a cast net. Just get a sabiki. Here we go. Little bit of bait. You can load up on pinfish. One of my go to baits for cut bait, and this is a, a decent sized one. That's a good one baiter right there. Throw them in there. And we're going to see if I can get about two dozen of these. Put them in a bait pen, save them for later today, and then come back out, see if we can get some pinfish at low, or pinfish, get some redfish at low tide. Here we go. That's a good one. That's what we're looking for. That could be like a two baiter. Yeah, that's more the size we're wanting. So I've gotten a couple greenbacks now. I'm not even tipping it with anything, I'm just kind of casting it out. And apparently just like a school of good sized pilchards has shown up. Got four. Oh, two of them popped off. I say let's go use these baits. There's one. Oh, I had one. Get it back over there. It's got a piece of cut green back. A little split shot right above. Got him. Got him. Got a little red, feels like. He may not be that small, actually. I don't think he's that small. Do a piece of cut bait, high tide. There's a little oyster bar over there and picked it up very quickly. Come on over here, dude. Uh, like probably 19, 20 inches. Good little starter fish of the day. Come on over here. Definitely not a monster, but I'll take it. And it looks like I'll be able to keep my bait. Looks like it. There we go. No, as soon as I say that, my bait flies off. But good little starter redfish right there. Yeah, probably about 19 inches. Get the hook right out of the corner of his mouth. Get another bait. See if we can get a bigger one up there. See you, dude. All right, got a piece of pinfish on here now. See how long this takes. All I do is cut the head off, tail off, and then the, the dorsal and anal fin. I always like to cut the fins off to a pinfish just to help take away anything that could possibly poke a redfish when it's going to pick up the bait. Last thing you want is to like have one bite it and then get poked around the mouth and it dropped it. There we go. There's a good red. Okay, so they're not on the oyster bar. They're on the flat over there. Okay, so it feels a little bit bigger than the other one. Yep. This one ain't too bad. Okay. There we go. Okay, how big is this guy gonna be? I'm going a solid 25, 26.
Come on over here, dude. Cup bait coming up clutch. Hot summer days. These redfish cannot resist. Good old piece of cup bait sitting there, right on the bottom. Come on up. Yeah, that's a decent one. Here we go. Coming to the back of the boat. Come on up. That beautiful red. Yeah. Nice mid 20s. Probably 24, 25 around there. That is a beautiful redfish right there. Yeah, if I had to guess, probably about 24 inches. Just inhaled that cut bait. Let's go ahead and get a. Oh, I was gonna get an underwater release, but I guess we'll just have to catch another one. See you, dude. All right, whipping out a little bit smaller setup. Let's have some fun with these guys. Right over there. Just let it sit on the bottom. One on already. Yep. That did not take long. There are some redfish here. Come on over here, dude. It's hard to tell how big he is on this new setup. That took all of 10 seconds. Get over here. Come on. That was a good first run, but he hasn't really done anything since. How big are you? Okay. There we go. Feel these head shakes. He's going crazy down there. Look at that boil. Wait, is this like a really big one? Come on. That boil looked huge. Oh, dude, this is a good one. Yeah. I will take that. Biggest one today so far. You saw how fast he ate that. Come on over here. That's a good one. Oh, he's loaded down with spots too, it looks like. Come on, dude. Yeah, that's the biggest one today so far. Look at all those spots on him. Hook around the corner of the mouth. That was just perfect. Tail grab. Oh yeah. That's a solid fish. That's upper slot, if not over slot right there. There we go. Switched over to the smaller setup and got the biggest fish of the day. This dude is loaded down with spots. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven on the other side. Twenty-one spots on this guy, and he's definitely upper slot. Probably twenty-seven, maybe twenty-eight inches. Awesome fish. Let's get a release on him. See you, dude. 
Awesome. All right, let's see if we can do it again. Getting the lure rod back out there. Oh my gosh, I, I put my rod down for a second and I guess one picked it up right as I did that. I wanted to check the GoPro, make sure there's no water marks on it or anything and I guess one picked it up while I was doing that and just had it like in between my legs. That was crazy. Doesn't feel nearly as big as the other one. It's not bad. Definitely not bad, but probably another 24 around there. We found some redfish at high tide today. Come on up. Yeah? Solid slot fish. Oh, he is fighting now. Yeah, solid slot fish. Probably 22, 23. Here we go. There we go, right there. Another eh, smaller than I thought, maybe right at 20 inches. Let's get the hook out. Get a quick release on him. See you, dude. It is now evening time and what you guys missed was us setting up all of our rods and everything and me catching a redfish using my bare hands because Cameron got his line tangled in my line and then I got bit. So I caught like a 24 inch red uh, using my hands on braid which was fun and now we got four cut bait rods kind of spread out beyond the boat. Uh, we're out on this flat on the edge of this giant grass flat as you can see it is low tide and it's still going out for another about hour and a half. And all these redfish get funneled out of here off of this grass flat into the deeper pockets at the low tide. So we're just out here soaking baits, throwing top waters, seeing what we can get. What is this? Big snook coming right to the boat right here. There it goes. Probably like a 35 incher. How often do you like to replace your cup? 15, 20 minutes. Oh! Holy shit. That was a big hit. Yep. Yeah, that was. All right, well, that was probably a snook. That one fuego is slack. Oh, shit. Oh, I told you, fuego. Fuego's on. Get it. You want me get to it? it? Yeah, get it. There we go. Oh, this is that light rod. Yeah, it is. Dude, I wonder if he was on like the whole time. Oh, yeah. That's probably the smallest redfish this boat's seen all day. Some still, well, uh, some's coming at you. Is that a shark? No, that's a big snook. Show him off to the camera. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like a 30 incher. Monster. Didn't even get a release. Oh, oh, nope. Other rod. Oh, it's popping off now. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Basically just said the exact same thing. Oh, I'm on. That one. That one. The one in the back. Mine. This one? Yep. He was on. Got him. Nice. Little guy. Is that a trout? Oh, you're on. Maybe? No, nah, it just rolled in the rod right now. Is that a trout? Kind of feels like a trout. Trout. Decent, huh? Hey, dude. Now you need a snook. 
I almost had one maybe on the top water. A nice little trout. Let me wet my hands. So I got a rod in between my legs. Yeah, you could have handed that off. Yeah, nice little trout on the cup bait. Yeah. See you, dude. I'm casting your rods into the or into the stingray zone. Oh, you just got hit. You're on. You're on. You're on your other rod. This one? Yeah. Here. Is it still on there? I think so. I'm feeling a little bit of tension. Yep. There you go. Ooh. 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 That's something better. That's probably a red. Kind of like a little bit of head shakes. Thinking big trout? Or you think it's red? It's gonna be a 30 inch trout. It kind of looks like a trout tail when I saw it come up for a second. Are you freaking out? I don't know. I mean, not really in the sense that this is way oversized for a <laughs> catch a <laughs> trout. A 40 pound leader on here. I haven't seen it enough. Oh, a lot of mullet. You got this line out, I casted it, watch out. Keep your line low. Yeah. They're talking about the top of it's like right here. That's a good red, I yeah. think. My brain was like, this is gonna be like a 30 plus. Oh, this one's on. <laughs> got him. <laughs> Double up. Red. Dude, the tide switched and it started coming in. Oh yeah. There we go. Dude, we just got a nice little double at the end here. On your rods. <laughs> you were talking about my rods. Well, I literally picked this one up and recasted it. I'm like, I'm gonna get in my zone. And then as soon as I come over here to turn the light on for you, I see the rods like bent over the T-top. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> what the teal one? Yeah. It's another decent one. All right, we might have to stay out here a little bit more. <laughs> Seems like right now the tide's starting to income and the fish are biting. Yours is bigger than mine, but mine's not a bad one. How big is this guy? That guy? 27 probably. I'm going 28. I got the measuring board. And then I got this guy. Nice. Dude. That's a 30 inch red. It's all redfish right there. Yeah, this one's probably 26, 27, and Cameron just got a 30 up there. 30, 30. Hey, let's get a nice little photo. Wait, let's look. Dude, they're sisters. Yeah, they're like the same. Wait, that means mine's like 29. Yeah, mine was like just under. Jeez. Like a hair. All right, let's get this guy back. Yeah. It looks like they're being like abducted. <laughs> Bring them over. Oh, there you, dude. I got was ready. <laughs> <laughs>